Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be taking a look at Kubuntu 1810 which is codenamed Cosmic Cuttlefish. Now already with Kubuntu, as seems to be the tradition, it is out of date at time of release, using the older Plasma 5.13 desktop when the latest available is the 14.1 desktop, however you can gain the latest Plasma desktop with the Kubuntu Backports repository, so they're keeping that version up to date. So great, we do have alternatives. But as far as the 5.13 desktop goes, I found that a very stable desktop environment to use when I was using it in KDE Neon. Now one of the changes for this release of Kubuntu is the dropping of 32-bit. So if you have a 32-bit system, no, don't use this version of Kubuntu. You're going to have to stay with the older long-term support release of 1804. This seems to be the future now of Ubuntu that they're phasing out the 32-bit architecture. Under the hood we have Linux kernel 4.18 which offers improvements to USB 3.2 and USB Type-C as well as support for the latest Intel CPUs. We also have Mesa 18.2.2 and the option to install the Nvidia 390 graphics drivers. This memory usage at system boot up is about 420 meg. And this has been a feature of the Plasma 5.13 desktop in that there has been improved memory usage and a bit of speed at the system boot up. We also have Qt 5.11.1 and the KDE applications version 18.04. Kubuntu offers a stock desktop environment for KDE, as well as a few different applications that are pre-installed on the system. There's two different options for the installer, there's the minimal or the full version. If I switch to the alternatives and just go to the application menu, it gives me an easier view to show you what would have changed. There are quite a few items dropped on the minimal version, for example I think Office is pretty much empty. Internet, you still get a web browser, but most of these other applications won't be pre-installed. So there's quite a few applications pre-installed on the system, and they have some small games pre-installed this time around. I want to take a look at LibreOffice Writer, because it comes with a new hybrid KDE 5 slash GTK 3 integration. What does that mean exactly though? Well, taking a first glance at it, it doesn't really look a huge amount different to me. The, the theming still seems to be fairly similar, but perhaps if I was to deviate from the default breeze theme, then maybe I might see more of an improvement. The default theming for Kubuntu is a mixture between the breeze light and breeze dark themes. For example, we have the lighter menus in the applications, but with a few darker colour items like the panel at the bottom of the screen. I'll show you one of the new features on Plasma 5.13 desktop. On the lock screen, it drifts in and out between a blurred and a non-blurred effect. It kind of acts like a screensaver. I could also type my password in using a virtual keyboard. The default session is xorg, but you can manually install the Wayland session for testing purposes only and they don't recommend it for a production system. There's also a new external monitor dialog box, and I found this very simple to use on a full system install. The primary and secondary monitor are by default the wrong way around. It was really easy to switch them around to the physical layout on my desk. Into the system settings, now, I can't remember if the layout of this changed drastically in the 5.13 or the 5.12 desktop. So if it does look completely different to 18.04, then yes, it was changed, but otherwise my memory is not quite what it used to be. It's all fairly standard with the tweaks that you can make, but you don't really have to change anything. You can pick up the desktop and use it. You don't have to play around with things, but if you want to, then yes, there is quite a lot you can modify. And you can go much further and modify the entire desktop, add global menus, you can do a lot. And a lot of these items you can change are pre-installed in the desktop. You don't have to go and install widgets from a third party and rely on them to be upgraded between versions of the desktop. Everything that's here has worked between different versions of the Plasma 5 desktop. Taking a look at the applications and bearing in mind this is the standard system install, not the minimum. Yeah, it's interesting to see some of these small games that they've included. There's nothing too bulky there, and again, same under graphics, nothing too bulky really. Gwenview tends to come pre-installed on most KDE distributions. Internet, they've gone for Firefox for web browser, Kmail for the email client, and Ktorrent for the torrent client. Multimedia, well it's VLC for the media player, and Cantata for the music player. Office is the full suite of LibreOffice. There might have been some changes on the K runner menu, but again, my memory has faded on that one. Taking a look at the memory usage, well, it's only crept up to about 540. That's still a lot lower than Ubuntu was. 
For installing applications, the default software store is Discover. If you want something less bulky and more basic with a synaptic-like feel, you could go for Moon Package Manager instead. Discover can install applications from both Snap and Deb packages. By default, it appears to favor Deb packages. This is a contrast to the software center that is pre-installed in Ubuntu. If I was to search for Inkscape, the first result is going to be the Deb package. And let's see, the fourth result is going to be the Snap. I didn't know about that one, Inkscape with a dark theme. Some random things I find looking around the software center. Anyway, trying something a bit different here. I'm looking for the Kubuntu restricted extras. Normally I wouldn't have been able to find this in Discover because it's not a desktop based application. It is an underlying library. So it's interesting I can find it this time around. So yeah, there's definitely been some changes made to the Discover software center. But that is it really. Now while I haven't been able to do a long-term system usage of Kubuntu 18.10, I've done a longer term usage of the Plasma 5.13 desktop, and as I mentioned earlier, I found it perfectly fine to use. That slight improvement in memory usage has led to a slight reduction in boot up time. It's still not the fastest booting desktop environment in Linux, but it is an improvement on what it used to be. But to me, the startup time is irrelevant when the overall desktop usage is actually perfectly fine and responsive. So is it a good upgrade from the long-term support release of Kubuntu 18.04? And for that, I'm not entirely convinced because the Plasma 5.12 desktop in Kubuntu 18.04 was actually perfectly fine and stable. So you're not really going to gain much there. Do you want to go for the long-term usage or do you want to go for the interim release where you have to reinstall every six months? Because that really is the biggest difference between the two releases. But thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.